So, Acho, she can't want to stay with the Patriots. Uh, Marcellus, you say a few things on this show that make me laugh. You say a few things on this show that break my heart. And then you say a few things on this show that make me worry. Uh-oh. And one thing you said one time, Sal, you said a man is only as faithful as his options. options. Oh, you said a man is only as faithful as his options. Yeah. Sal, I got worried. I'm a single man. Oh, Marcellus, shut it. And I'm like, if a man is only as faithful as his options, what does that mean for my life? <laughs> well, I can tell you what it means for Cam Newton. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, should Cam want to stay with the Patriots? Well, if he's only as faithful as his options, how many options do you got, Cam? Don't do that. He, he shouldn't want to stay with New England. No. New England ain't giving him no help. I mean, look at Cam Newton's top four receivers. One is a running back. <laughs> one is a former college quarterback. Ooh. One is an undrafted player. Oh, and there's another one that was an, also an undrafted player. So when you look at Cam Newton's receiving help, mm. he doesn't have it. When you look about Cam Newton being in New England, it's not as though uh, the weather there is ideal. When you look about the outside factors and the internal factors, mm. there's not a lot of motivation for Cam to want to stay in New England. But... If a man is only as faithful as his options, Sal, and you, Cam Newton, he didn't have a lot of options going into the season. Mm. That's why he ended up in New England. Mm. Hey, he couldn't go start somewhere else. Mm. That's why he ended up in New England. He didn't want to be a backup. That mm. is why he ended up in New England. So should Cam want to stay with the Patriots? Mm. Not necessarily. But might Cam have to stay with the Patriots? Ah, that is where mm. the real question and the truth of the matter lie. Oh, man, we on the other side with this one. We on the other side looking at you like Dude, where's his flag? What side? Which pocket, homie? Where he from? What he wearing? What real? You know, those CKs or those BKs? Remember those days? Uh, anyway, I have to ride on you right now because Cam should absolutely want to stay with New England for one reason: continuity. Think about it. Think about anything that you've mastered in terms of whether it's the playbook when you were a player or it's just any subject matter that the first lap of learning something. Ah, you don't fully internalize it. You don't fully digest it. This takes me to a Wileyism, I think, right now. Mm. Um, let me get off my vessel and educate the masses. Here's a Wileyism for you right now with Cam Newton. Um, can I hear the music? Hmm. Sometimes your first mind is your worst mind. Oh, Acho, do you remember those days when you were rushing to class at University of Texas, lowly ranked academically, and then you Top were sitting... <laughs> Top 50. <laughs> yeah, 50. <laughs> so, <laughs> and here goes Acho, with his no typing but no home keys, just typing in the paper. Oh, I gotta finish. Here, professor. The professor's like, thank you, Acho. You're a great student, so we know this is gonna be a great paper. Comes back next week. Red, red, red. Look like a blood hit it up on the wall. Red, red, red. And you're like, where all that red come from? As you prove read your own work that you rushed through because it was just your first lap, you come to realization, damn it, all I had to do was take another lap of looking at that same material and I would have caught most of my own errors. Remember this, first lap, mm, let me process this. Second lap, lap, let me digest it. Third lap, let me master it. You go out there as a quarterback, and the first thing that happens is, I know what I'm supposed to do. What's the second step of that as a football player? Now I know what they're supposed to do. What's the third step? The black belts know this. I know what they're trying to set up to make me think what they're going to do, but I know where the traps lie. This is an interesting dynamic. Stay still, Cam Newton. Master this playbook and watch what he does with it. Let's get somebody in here who knows a thing or two about mastering the game of football. LeVar Arrington, LA. Fox NFL analyst. So, LeVar, she can't want to stay with the Patriots. No, he shouldn't <laughs> want to stay. He should want to weigh out his options. It, it was a rhetorical question uh, to begin with, right? Uh, uh. And it was deserving of a rhetorical response, which mm. that's what Cam gave them, which to me, mm. an Arringtonism is mm. rhetorical <laughs> answers. Rhetorical responses are deserving of those who ask rhetorical questions. <laughs> so there you go. That's a very. I have no rhetoric. competition with Wileyisms. Just to let y'all know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that, my my, my Wileyisms are per, my, my isms are pretty simple. I like to keep them simple. Yeah, but plain. I agree. So here's the thing: you gave that man a one-year contract. I'll pause and let that sink in. You gave him a one-year mm. contract. Why mm. would he say, I want to be here? Yeah, you yeah. didn't say, I want mm. him to be here mm. by the contract that Ooh. you gave him. You gave him a one-year deal. So that becomes a rhetorical question. 
which, by the way, I'm going to give you a rhetorical answer. Well, I need to worry about winning now. Response, correct, because, hey, if Cam continues to play the way that he's playing, although poor at times, I'm not worried about if he plays poor because of the, 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 the pieces of information that Acho gave. Mm. Who is he working with? All mm. right. I want to see one thing and one thing only. Can he stay healthy? The rest of it, I can figure out. So he's showing his durability. The only reason why he's missed was COVID, mm -hmm. all right? I had one year to prove to you that I can stay healthy and still lead a team. That's what he's doing. He should have every intentions of weighing out what his options are moving forward. Ooh. Here's the other reason that I'm, I'm not convinced that Cam should want to stay, but he may have to, is this. When, when quarterbacks start to lose some of their abilities, and if you saw Cam in his first year, 2011 versus now, not the exact same guy, but that's fine. Hopefully you're on a team that will start to pick up where you slack a little bit. Let's look at Tom Brady playing with three Hall of Fame receivers right now. Grob, uh, Gronkowski, Antonio Brown, Mike Evans. Let's look at Drew Brees mm. uh, playing with probably the second best cat pass catching running back of this decade and the best pass catching receiver of the last six years. Statistically, when you look at some guys who their ability may start to start to wane a little bit in some aspects of their game organizations will supplement that ability, which is now turning into a disability or lack thereof. But the Patriots, they don't do that. To the point where Tom Brady had to get out of Dodge because he was like, yo, I'm getting older. My ability is not the exact same. Help me, please. Mm. And Bill Belichick was like, shoot, I, I ain't got it for you. So now Cam Newton, he cannot go to this place when he selfishly needs to continue to ball so that he can try to get more money, try to get legitimized NFL starting quarterback money, but he's in an organization that is not going to allow him to do that because for whatever reason, well, we know why, Bill Belichick, the general manager, doesn't do a great job selecting players. They're not going to help Cam. Cam got to go help himself if he can. Okay. This is going to be fun. Okay. Okay, here comes some stew. <laughs> okay. I got some stew for you. But do you have okay. rice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have rice? Okay. <laughs> Peanut butter. Hey, uh, do, first of all, What's let up, me just bro? start here. What's up? Y'all know that Cam had not thrown for 365 or more passing yards in a game since his rookie season, and he just did that last week. Y'all do know that, right? So this is the same Cam. Week one, week, week, one, week one. He gave you 397. Yeah, rookie season. Yeah, yeah. So th think about it, 365 plus, you only had that twice this year, uh -huh. and then Cam Newton hasn't done that since his rookie season. So mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's be respectful of what he's doing right now. What is he doing for Belichick? Give him the fourth-ranked total rush defense, I mean, rushing offense. What is that for Belichick? Oh, the best he's ever had as a head coach. Cam Newton is impressing Belichick in different ways. Is Cam Newton throwing for 68% in completion percentage right now? Yes, he is. Is that the best he's ever done in his career? Yes, it is. Oh, another good nugget for Cam Newton. And Cam Newton said, quote, I would say every day for me is another opportunity for me to get better. Do I know everything in this offense? No, I do not. So Cam Newton is showing you flashes of brilliance, prolific greatness, and he still doesn't even know what he's doing fully out there. Don't trust Acho, guys. Hmm? Don't trust Acho when it comes to the word continuity. I'm going to tell you why. Because, one, he's super single. Like, the dude is over 30. This is, you just turned 30, so you're like a couple days into it. He's over 30. He's still super single because he doesn't believe in continuity. He doesn't believe in stability. He doesn't believe in staying still. Look at this resume. One Cowboys way. You, didn't you used to work for the Cowboys? Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember that. Big 12 Network, uh, ESPN, network, yeah. YouTube, OWN, you would Oprah. And then you find yourself here. How long? I don't know because you don't believe in continuity. The point of it is, this is a guy who's going to tell Cam Newton, keep going, keep going. But I have something for you right here, Acho. What's that? This is the ticket to learning what continuity <laughs> means and what it can do for you. Here's a full screen about comeback Cam, since y'all want to say that this year has not been a success for Cam. First six games, look at that completion percentage. And then COVID hits them and whatever may happen, the re results of that. Last three games, oh my God, career best for Cam Newton in terms of completion percentage. Look at the yards per game go up 60. Look at Cam Newton, total touchdowns and turnovers. Clean games for Cam Newton of late. Passer rating, are you kidding me? Did Cam Newton go up 30 plus? and passer rating in the last three games. Once again, me watching all the games, despite having 
four kids. Acho has no kids. I watch every game, every single play, and I'm here to break it down with the deep analysis. No, and not. I'm a Why guy who also lying. understands the process Why and continuity. Unfortunately, I'm the oh, only one Marcellus. up here saying such things. Why are you always <laughs> lying? You ain't like like watch no lying. all them plays. Yo, hey, hey, Acho, do you, you want me to get him? Or do you want to get him? Let me get him first, I LA. Where else Go ahead, get, him get him. This man ahead, Marcella is going to come at me for a lack of continuity. When you played for four teams and worked on two different networks, come <laughs> on, Sal. <laughs> find a place to <laughs> lay your head, Sal. Hmm? Find a place to lay your head. Hey, hey, the I other, how old was he when he got married, Acho? Ask him how old he was when he got married. How old was you when you got married, Sal? Acho, I can't hear you. <laughs> Yesterday. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, L.A., go ahead, bro. I'm done with you this, man. Get it. All right. So, and, and, and that, I'm going to leave that part alone because because yeah. Marcellus, you didn't understand continuity for a very long yes, time. Yes, that's true. And, and, that's and, that, and true. you have to not understand continuity before you can understand it and fully respect it and love continuity because mm, mm. the un. The unside of it is is pretty interesting and can get really really nerve wracking and all that stuff. But here's the point: you said something very good, Acho. You said when the the talent is waning, when you get to the point mm-hmm. where you're saying, "Look, I need more. I need more help," and that's why Tom Brady got up out of the way. Well, think about this from another angle. This is the point in time in a career where Bill Belichick historically will get rid of you, no matter how big your name is. If your name is Ty Law, if your name is Lawyer Malloy, Willie McGinnis. Uh, you you want to keep going? Tom Brady, mm. <laughs> right? So this is the age for, for Cam Newton to pay attention to. Not only am I getting older, but historically speaking, I'm in an organization where they don't get all of the, t- the toothpaste out of the toothpaste container. Mm. They get rid of you before it's too late. So I, it's another point and another reason why Cam should not be resting his laurels in his hat on building continuity in a place where he may only have really one more season to try to thrive before they start trying to work around moving him up out of that position. Uh, now, we got to put some respect on Cam's name because he is a former MVP who is on pace right now to have 15 rushing touchdowns, which would once again be a career high for Cam Newton. These career highs keep happening somehow, some way, coincidentally, in New England this year, despite them not having the proper resources surrounding Cam. So as the former MVP, who's now had two of his five most prolific games in a Patriots uniform, despite winning the MVP elsewhere, you got to respect two things about this organization and what happened to this team this year. Let's talk about the team first. COVID. Everyone wants to just sneeze past it. Cam had COVID, he missed a game until whatever, and come back and play. What has COVID done to college football? In, in, in particular, Trevor Lawrence and his campaign to win the Heisman. And Penn State. Hey, what about Clemson and Penn, <laughs> <laughs> Penn State? Damn, y'all sorry. Oh, oh damn, we so y'all bad sorry. Right now. I don't know what we're the so hell bad. happened up there. Y'all got a different uh, Corona. Um, but here's the <laughs> thing. But look, Corona not only sabotaged an individual player and his performance, but the entire team. Clemson is now not number one ranked because of COVID. Be real. So it had an effect on this team, the New England Patriots as well, in the offseason and in season. But last but not least, let's talk about the resources around them, the weapons. Everyone says Tom Brady left because they didn't have weapons. True, but context matters. Next offseason, 2021, they will have $60 million plus, maybe $80 million plus, depends on what they do with Stephon Gilmore and his contract. Point being, that is enough money to dress up the situation where it seems like right now Cam Newton is having tremendous success in terms of what he's doing, which is the naysayers out there, you can't be durable. Oh, yes, I can. I could play every single game outside of COVID. Oh, you are, you're not accurate. Yes, I can. I could be the most accurate I've ever been at the quarterback position. You add all that up, why not roll with continuity? Why not winning. keep rolling with the Patriots? So, <laughs> I, I know, L.A., I know True. that Marcellus is uh, radio trained because in radio, you ain't got anybody to push no holes in your argument. See, you Ooh. just sit there and you get to say what you want to say and the listeners are driving in their cars like, 
oh, he's making such a great point. That's not COVID. Yeah, it really affected hey, him. I know the about? Titans had COVID, but no, I mean, they, they still came back and Siri. won. What, Wait, I know about? these other teams have COVID. Wait, see, I know Marcellus is radio <laughs> trained because you talk and you pray that we don't listen hard enough to hear the fallacy. You heard something? But Marcellus, even oh, though these fallacies. ears are small, Ooh. oh, do they catch on to you the fallacy. Ears. I do. I do the smallest. <laughs> <I know>. um, <laughs> so, <laughs> the I and B is, is the hard <laughs> time. I know. So it's an issue. It's an issue. I'm self-conscious. <laughs> Sal, you I'm said sorry. about eight minutes ago Uh-oh. that the Patriots have this great rushing offense all because of Cam. I, I, I didn't say all because of Cam, but I could have led you there. But I didn't mean to lead you there sure. if I led you there. I'm sorry. Sir, but 2018. Don't do this. 17. Don't do 16, this. 16. Okay. The Patriots have top ten rushing offenses. Yeah, yeah. Great. They have the number four rushing offense now. That number five and 18. Number 10 and 17. Number seven and 16. So, mm. Cam Newton didn't do anything for the Patriots that they weren't already doing for themselves. Let's make no mistake about that. So, I'm not going to let you come up here and just simply act as though that, that, that Cam Newton has incredibly elevated these Patriots. So, if you are Cam Newton, if you are Cameron St. Newton, and you look around and you say, you know what? Yo, I don't know what my options is. <laughs> I might just end up back here in New England. Mm.